Like, look at the CRV. It's still 100% intact. Maybe needs a new bumper. This thing disintegrated. Like it's a goddamn Popeye's biscuit. How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video. And today we're gonna be taking a look at uh, when idiots try to show off in their cars. I've always been an advocate of never try to show off in your car, especially when leaving car events. When you see that crowd of people on the side of the road, you tend to overreact and try to show off as hard as you can. I know you're just trying to impress that dime piece, but I promise she will not be impressed when you wrap your car around a pole. And today we're going to look at people who maybe not wrapped their car around the pole, but people that definitely overcompensated and tried to impress people. I always say like, it's the nicest and most humble thing you pull out, you get on it just a little bit so they can hear the exhaust tone. And that's it. You just have some, some respect. You're humble. You're modest. I don't have a hot wheel, so I'll reenact it with my phone. Okay. So you pull out, you know, brum, 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 brum. you're at the light and then that's it not boom call the ambulance everyone's dead today we're gonna be looking at those people we're looking at these clips for educational purposes so hopefully you don't recreate what they do let's go ahead and dive right in all right first one this one says at drew peacock kid can't drift and i just want to say so many people i don't want to say so many i think like two or three a, a handful a bunch a mini flock of people came to my Instagram and were like, Drew, you need to work on your drifting, bro. You need to work on your drifting. I saw a video of you trying to drift. They just automatically assumed because this guy was tagging me that that's me in my car, even though I've never owned that generation or had an ugly ass swing on my Mustang. I'm just going to say people need to use their brains a little bit more. Let's take a look at this. See, this is why this is where right now is where I wish I parked the GTI right there. It's always the V6 boys trying to overcompensate, see? <laughs> There's that crowd of people waiting around. They're, they're sitting there trying to see what this guy's going to do. He thinks they're all happy see, and, and excited to see him. Smart. He's moving his car. He but when, when people are leaving because you start doing donuts, it's not a good sign. And I would not be the guy to jump in the car either. You going to give this guy coaching lessons? Oh, my God. He can't even turn off traction control. Well, that and it's an open diff. So it's, it's not really going to slide anyways. Ugh. God, that's just embarrassing. Just leave at that point. Ugh. Yeah, dude, that, that was best case scenario. You didn't hit anything. Thank God. But dude, the C63 was out of there. He was like, I know this guy's got liability. And it's probably from fucking some mom and pop shop that's giving him liability for 20 bucks a month. I'm dipping. They were not going to cover that C63. The guy in shorts and flip flops, though. I mean, climbing in as a passenger, I guess this is your ride home. So you need to. But I would Uber. Honestly, you can't climb into this car after that. What, what does this fucking brain dead comment say? Imagine bullying someone who's trying to learn F is wrong with you. Are you like people are brain dead trying to learn. Maybe don't try to learn how to do a dangerous activity when you're surrounded by cars that are much more expensive than you. A newer S550 Mustang, a few cleaner Miatas, which I would say are probably more expensive than this POS V6 Mustang. The C63, not only is there a lane of traffic that flies by right there. But this is not the place to learn. You learn this in a back alley, back of a Walmart parking lot, 2 a.m. That's when you learn. You don't learn this at this time of day at a car meet. You're an idiot. Honestly, this is why. This is what's wrong with the car scene. You have fucking kids trying to tell people what to do because they've been given participation awards their whole life. Just to prove my point, though, let's click on this profile and see. It's going to be a 12-year-old. Oh, zero post, 12 followers. Yeah, it's a 12-year-old. Yeah, V6 Mustang boys, V6 muscle car boys, you guys have the most to earn when it comes to respect because you guys are starting out at the bottom of the totem pole i don't make the rules it's just what it is this is just what we were born into when it comes to the car scene v6 muscle cars at the bottom prius teslas rest of the car scene as a v6 muscle car owner you guys should be the ones leaving quietly and respectful because nobody wants to hear your shitty ass v6 and you don't have the right parts on that car to swing it or do anything cool anyway so just get in your eco-friendly car and dip all right second video we have a dodge viper here so we've upgraded from v6 to v10 uh they call this car the Widowmaker for a reason this is one of the cars that you should not be messing around in if you don't know what you're doing let's take a look i keep hitting my damn brim on the stupid microphone no balls. Did you hit that Prius? 
Yeah, I definitely. I wouldn't be yelling that. But at the same time, I've heard people say stuff like that in my Supra. I'm like, they're like, two step it, two step it, pussy. And then I don't because I don't let other men tell me what to do. I'm not daddy's little kitten. I don't listen to y'all. Ugh. Like, I get what this comment is saying. The guy recording is the worst because he's, like, antagonizing him. But, like, once again, you don't gotta listen. And, like, you don't have to fucking do a peel out. You don't have to clutch dump it leaving your parking spot. That's just not a good idea. Laughing afterwards is kind of a dick move. Like, like I will 100% laugh when takeover people crash. It's funny every single time. But... Just a dude just that has like a nice car leaving a parking spot trying to make you happy by doing something. Maybe don't laugh at him, at him, you know. He did that for your entertainment. I will say though, the Dodge Viper, that thing fell apart like a paper mache car. The CRV though, thing is made of bricks. Like look at the CRV. It's still a hundred percent intact. Maybe needs a new bumper. This thing disintegrated. Like it's a goddamn Popeye's biscuit. Too much Viper, not enough Dodge. Yeah, he also did hit, like, the only two cars on that side of the street. That sucks. But, I mean, these cars are rowdy. I mean, he, he was trying to impress some people. That's, again, he let the ego get the best of him. You can't do that. You can't let other people tell you what to do. A, a cold car, cold tires, you're sliding it. It's a V10. It's a torque monster. Just not a good idea. I mean, you can get on it a little bit while leaving, but dumping the clutch while leaving your parking spot, probably not the greatest idea. All right, Mustang Mach 1 crashes cars and coffee, Miami. Okay. This is what I'm talking about. There's a, there's a crowd of people. There's a crowd of people, and you're on a drag pack, and you're sliding it through a corner. What are you doing, dude? With a job, this, this, this build doesn't even make any damn sense. Why would you have a gigantic APR wing? And then a drag pack. Like, are you trying to go fast in a straight line or not? Because the drag pack means you are, and the wing means you want to hit some twisties. This comment said the same thing. Drag pack with a track wing. This kid is confused. This kid just wants attention. That's all it is. That's all it is. It's probably a full bolt on E85. I keep hitting my mic with my bill. I'm sorry, guys. That's just an idiot, though. Like, you, too much people. You got to make sure, you know, what's going through their minds when they're doing this type of stuff is, oh, I don't want to underdo it and look like a bitch. Trust me, it's much cooler to underdo it and not crash than to overdo it and crash your car. Like, this dude left parts of his Mustang on that center divider. Luckily, nobody was hurt. He was still able to drive off, but this dude is as confused as a Miata at a drag strip. Has no idea what's going on. Sounded pretty good, though. I think it was the best sounding car of the episode. I'm just going to say that. It was a little loud. Definitely had some courses on that bitch. All right, Philly explicit. Let's take a look. Sliding. No more sliding for you. And guess what? We're dipping. We're out of here. We don't got insurance. This ain't even our car. We just ripped this shit off of the street with the hazards. At least he let him know, hey, man, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what happened. Dude, that sucks. But you're an idiot for attending one of these, honestly. If you go to a takeover, I mean, this isn't really like a street takeover. This is like a costco parking lot takeover but if you go to a takeover and your car gets hit who the hell are you gonna cry to like you're fucking there you know what happens at these things if you don't know what happens at takeovers you either don't have an iphone or you're just beyond stupid maybe you're dory from finding nemo you got fucking short-term memory loss but every takeover clip i see is somebody wrecking into somebody's car so if you take your car that you love so much so near and dear to your heart that you're posting on snapchat trying to get the biddies to swipe up don't take it to a takeover. Them biddies ain't gonna swipe up when that shit's got a salvage title. And that dude's dipping too. He do not give a fuck about you. He's getting out like, bro, what, what happened? Oh my God. Nah, bro. Shouldn't have been there. Go to a real car meet. Go do some real activities. Not this fucking lame ass wannabe car guy shit. You don't have to chase him down. Go get the plate from the bumper that fell off. Yeah, that's not a bad idea, but it's probably not their car regardless. And even then, what, you're going to go to the police and be like, hey, yo, like, I was at a takeover and this dude hit my shit. His bumper did fall off right there. I do see it. The odds of it being their car is very unlikely. Uh, most of these people can't afford Honda Civics, let alone Chrysler 300s. So, just saying. I mean, these guys, <laughs> they don't have jobs. They, they don't have insurance. What, what, what do you think is going to happen? Don't go to takeovers. Don't be an idiot.
POV, your friend rented out a Lamborghini for his birthday and it went like this. Trying to show off in the Lambo. Never show off in a car you don't know how to drive. God, when I see someone holding the steering wheel, instead of like, you know, an aggressive, firm grip, you know, nine and three, when I see them holding it like, like this, you know, with little T-Rex arms, I know their only experience is the Chuck and Cheese playpen. That's the only experience this guy must have. Oh. Banging off red line. Look at how he's holding it. There you go. He's lucky he's walking away from that. And I'm happy he recorded the whole thing too, so the insurance can't say, oh, the gas pedal got stuck. Yeah, dude, you're done. You owe somebody a lot of money. It's funny because I thought for the longest time about like loaning my car, my McLaren, this is like when I first got it, to a rental company. Because they rent these cars out for a lot of money. I mean, $1,000 a day, typically. And it might be capped by miles, too, but still, $1,000 a day? That's my car payment for the McLaren. So if I rented it for one day, you see what I'm saying here? But then you got to realize that there are idiots like this. You know, if you rent it to your homie, first of all, you wouldn't charge your homie 1000 bucks, but at least you know your homie's not an idiot. You rent it to some fucking fresh graduate that thinks that he's a race car driver because he plays GTA, guaranteed to happen. So, yeah, I never went that route. Now the only person racing my car is me. By the way, that track video will uh, come out here very soon. I, it's just so much footage to go through. It's like three, four different camera angles. It's a lot of footage, man. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do it. It's going to take a lot of time. Anyways, moving on. Don't be an idiot. Don't Just don't rent a car that you can't afford to fix if you break it. Uh, oh, no, nah, not the 22 competition M3. He lost his intake downpipes, his stage two tune, and his darn springs. Ali is going to be disappointed. Check my head. How do you feel about this Mac? Would love to, would you have recovered? Me, personally, I would have just hit a 360 on him, but I don't know. That's just me. That's a whole lot of typing, man. All right, let's see. Cutting up through traffic. What an idiot. Trying to show off. Trying to keep up with what? A 350Z? Bros in a BMW struggling to keep up with a 350Z. Oh, hit the windshield wipers. Extra traction. What a fucking idiot. Dude's dead ass trying to chase down. It's either a 370Z or like a Porsche. Based on how it sounds. Okay, it sounded pretty aggressive. It's probably a Porsche. You ain't got the Porsche handling though. The panic. The panic. Oh no, what's going to happen? God. Some people just shouldn't be driving, especially aggressive like this. Like this dude's getting on it, going around cars. What do you think's gonna happen? What, this isn't a video game. These cars have parameters and, and you will break loose once those parameters are broken. Like, you can't do that. I guarantee he was wide open throttle because the Porsche could do that because it's a rear engine car. You got all the weight over the rear wheels. It's very unlikely for you to spin out doing that same move in a Porsche. You're more likely to spin out breaking it because then all that weight from the back is going to come up to the front and you're going to have little, so little traction over the rear wheels, you're going to spin. A complete opposite in a front wheel drive BMW M3 like this. Yeah, couldn't save it. Um, he also just panicked. I mean, you could tell he panicked. He hit the windshield wipers. He hit everything. I don't blame him. Like, this has never happened to me, but I'm not an idiot. So I just want to say that. I will not chase cars up through traffic. If you want to race me on the freeway, Pull up, we'll let traffic pass, wait till it's wide open, and then we'll go for it. But I'm not going to chase you through traffic. I don't care. I don't have an ego like that. It doesn't bother me. Moving on to the last clip, we have a clean MR2. Mm, bone apple teeth. We have a nice MR2. Um, what happens to this MR2? Lots of pro pilots in the comments. Let's see. Sounds great. No longer sounds great. So what happened here? Honestly, I don't know. Um, it's a rear, it's a rear engine, rear wheel drive car. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Honestly, I mean, he must have just broke loose. I mean, he's on a tiny ass road. Yeah, he's kind of dancing all over. He breaks loose. I have a feeling he was started to break, and the weight of the engine just pushed him off to the side because his wheel wasn't straight. That's my best case scenario. I'm not a pro pilot like this guy is saying. I've never driven an MR2, but I know those things. Uh, those rear ends like to come out on you. 
They really do. I mean, that's where all the weight's at. So if you're sideways a little bit, because he's obviously kind of zigging and zagging all over the road, and then you slam on the brakes because you're scared, your, your cheeks are clenched up, yeah, you might go a little sideways. So it'd be like that. Uh, let's just hear it one last time. Oh, the blow-off valve. Just so good. That wall also, luckily, it wasn't made out of the best materials because it felt pretty good, and the car doesn't look that bad, so... It might be fixable. It might be fixable. Let's read uh, one of the most liked comments here because I do want to see what they are saying. Can't park there, bro. Okay, yeah, he, they are right about that. They might be pro pilots after all. Anyways, guys, hopefully we learned something from this video. Hopefully you guys are not going to be idiots. I really don't think you guys are, so that's great to see. I hope I don't see any of you guys doing this type of shit. If I get tagged in a clip and I click on the victim, the person that crashed, and it says follow back, red flag right there you guys obviously didn't learn anything anyway subscribe send me clips tag me and until next video peace